Prime Minister Narendra Modi's first visit to Austria and the first by an Indian Prime Minister in 41 years, a day after his visit to Russia, is indicative of the delicate balance New Delhi is attempting with regards to its foreign policy. Hello and welcome to the Prince Instant Analysis. In this episode, I look at how the Indian Prime Minister's visit to neutral Austria right after Russia is indicative of New Delhi's balancing act between the West and Moscow. Prime Minister Narendra Modi's first official bilateral visit since assuming office for the third time was to Russia. The country has been cut off from the international financial network and sanctioned heavily by the West since the war in Ukraine began in 2022. The Indian Prime Minister, who last visited Russia in 2019, has been heavily coveted by the Western world, with five straight appearances at the G7 and an official state visit to the US in 2023. However, New Delhi flexed its strategic autonomy with Modi's bilateral meeting with Putin that happened over the last two days. To ensure balance between Russia and the West, the Prime Minister also chose to visit neutral Austria, a country that is a member of the European Union, but not a member of the North Atlantic Treaty Organization, or NATO, which is a military alliance. In both his visits, the Indian Prime Minister also ensured to carry a message of peace on the Russia-Ukraine war, a war which has seen the NATO countries led by the US, UK, France and Germany heavily support Ukraine with arms and ammunition, as well as rebuilding aid. In Austria, the Indian Prime Minister reiterated his message of peace, declaring that a solution between Russia and Ukraine cannot be found on the battlefield, a message he shared with the Russian President, Vladimir Putin as well. This message in the past has been appreciated by Western leaders. The statement also finds support from both the West and Russia, and through it India gains further global prestige. The visit to Austria further indicates India's consistent position of being a bridging power in world affairs, as described by External Affairs Minister Subramaniam Jaishankar earlier this year. This is all from me today. Thanks for watching this episode of the Prince Instant Analysis. Do subscribe below for more such news and stories.